I'm not gonna lie, being a man is ridiculously fun. There's a lot of fun stuff about it. But in this video, I quickly wanna talk about three curses of being a man. Like three non-negotiable, three non-avoidable curses that you as a man will 100% come across in your life. And sure, some people might wanna debate it, but I'm still young. I haven't lived a whole man's life. I'm still 19 years old. But these are things I come across in my 19 years of life. So the first curse is that your first love will always remain in your heart. A couple of days ago, me and my homies were just chilling in my room. We we're talking and this topic came up. We all spoke about how the first girlfriend we've all had is still in our mind. Even though it's been a long time, even though we've been with other girls since, you still think about her. You still have this soft spot in your heart, regardless of what happened, regardless of everything, you still feel something. You still feel that maybe it's not love. Maybe it's, maybe it's more like a, like a nurturing kind of feeling. You don't want that part of you to die. You don't want, you don't want to let that part go. That's kind of what it is. And I came across something about my first love. And it just reminded me of this and how you will never forget her. You will never, she will always remain in your heart. Like she will always be important to you. Regardless of what happens, you will find that the reason you do so is because you think about the good memories because they were your first time maybe. I'm not too sure why it stays in your heart, but every single dude I know, one of my homies was like, bro, she's definitely getting railed by 10 dudes right now, but I can still think about her. Like he said that. And I was like, damn, I mean, prayers to him. But if you haven't been in your first relationship, this is something you can keep in mind because your first love would always be a part of you. Like it would always resonate with you. It'll always be dear to you. Like even right now I'm thinking about it and I'm just like, kind of like smiling because it, it was a good time. It, it's a good memory. I mean, if you're watching this, my first love, hope you're doing all right. That's the first love should always remain in your heart, regardless of who you are, what may happen. The most successful, the scariest, biggest dudes, deep down, they all know this. They all understand this. The first love will never, ever, ever leave them. And that's a good thing. Don't think of it as a bad thing. You'll always be heartbroken over. You'll always be hurt over. Maybe for a while. Yeah, sure. But later you'll just realize that, fuck, it's just life. Shit happens. You'll just understand that it's a good memory. That's why it's not going away. It's, it's so important to you. That it won't go away. And don't, don't push it away. You know, keep it, nurture that thing like a baby kitten or baby kitten, like a kitten. You'll always feel guilty about past mistakes, even after you fixed them. And these don't have to be mistakes like, oh, I, I ran over someone or some shit like that. It could even be like the kind of person you were. And that doesn't mean you have to be, you, have, you, you were some bully or some shit. You could also have been a dickhead loser. You could have been a moron. You could have been a geek. A lot of us who have leveled up um, through time started off as a, like a fucking nobody who, who wasn't living the life that they wanted to. And even after going through the whole self-improvement trials, you still think that fuck why if if i wasn't like that from the start because i've met people who from the get-go from when they were young they were kind of already on self-improvement because they had people around them older people around them to tell them the things they needed to know for example i'm telling my younger brother the things i wish i knew when i was his age i look back at my i don't know 15 14 year old self and i was like why why fucking fix yourself and this could also be deeper, like if you have done something wrong, like you've stolen, you've hit somebody, you've hurt somebody, you'll still feel guilty. Like this is something you carry as a man. Responsibility is like one of the main archetypes of just being a male, being a man. Like, you know, I'm not, I'm not throwing shit at women or like they don't feel this, but th these are set in stone for men. Like women may feel this. I'm not a woman. I don't know. I can definitely say this is what men feel. We'll always feel responsible, a sense of guilt. And guilt is the worst fucking feeling. And maybe it's not entirely guilt. Maybe it's just like a soft spot in your soul that's like, I wanna keep other people from going through the same thing. But don't see it as a bad thing. Like, again, this guilt is kind of like a guidance system that tells you what changes need to be made. Maybe in other people, maybe yourself, maybe in the world in general. And yeah, this is a curse we carry for the rest of our lives. And the last one is that you'll always feel responsible for your loved one's safety and well-being. Like this is your, like you always keep thinking that fuck, my family needs a better life. I gotta get them out of this country. I, you know, it's not safe. I don't want them to do this anymore. I want them to live a better life. They brought me into the world. They've given me life. I owe them life back tenfold. That's the kind of way a lot of men think. They're like, fuck. For example, I live in the UK. I'm like, this country is terrible. It's a shithole. It's very dangerous. It's very bad. Crime is fucking abundant here. In our minds, we're like, fuck, we need to get our families out of here. It's not good. Like, this is really bad. Like, we can't. You look outside, it looks like fucking Gotham City. We don't want to be here. Even after like having fun with my friends, we all just sit down and be like, fuck, like, we still haven't done anything. We still haven't achieved anything. We still haven't freed our families. We haven't taken them away from danger. And that's our responsibility. That's, everything's on us. And 
maybe it's not just your families. Maybe it's just your whole life in general. Any problem you have, it's your fucking fault. You don't have a hot girl, it's your fucking fault. You're not fit, it's your fucking fault. You're broke, it's your fucking fault. Everything. Everything you just take responsibility for. And maybe you don't do this naturally, but as time goes on, you kind of realize it and then be like, okay, everything around me that I don't like is my fucking fault. Everything. Every fucking thing. It's all on you. And as I get older, this becomes more and more clearer to me because maybe a, a while ago, I wouldn't have felt that responsible or I wouldn't have felt the guilt for my actions in the past or the kind of person I was. But the more I think about it, the more I deep it, it's more like really everything is your responsibility. Everything that you don't like, everything that you've done wrong, it all boils down to you. You're responsible for it because the only one that can change your own, your reality is you. So it all comes back to you. You don't like the way your life is. The only person that can change it is you. So again, it's your responsibility. If, if you don't like that your parents are working or your, your parents are living in a certain country, in a certain environment, and you're like, that's not good for them, please leave. And they can't leave. You have to get them out of there. I'm still young. I'm 19 years old. I haven't lived life fully yet to understand all the curses of being a man. I'm not allowed. Being a man is more than just the curses I've mentioned. Maybe there are more curses, but there are also some gifts of being a man as well, which I really don't have to get into, but... Maybe I can make another video about it, but being a man is absolutely amazing. I wouldn't have it any other way. The only other way is just one other way because being a man is good. It comes with its own pleasure and pain that, that just go really well together. You know, you, you feel pleasure, but again, I'm still young. I haven't been through life fully yet for me to understand the entirety of the curses or just being a man. Like I'm still 19. If any of you relate to what I said, if you agree with any of the curses, if you disagree, if you hate me, if you love me, whatever, just comment in the comment section. Maybe there's a curse out there I should speak about. There's many realms of masculinity that we haven't uncovered yet, especially because we're still young. With that being said, I hope this video helps. A little something to think about. This is kind of the things I think about when I'm just sitting down or things that pop into my mind, the curses of being men. Wow. But if this helps, like it, share it, you don't like it still share it send it to somebody who can also laugh at it but whatever i'll catch you in the next video peace out